Welcome to the Epic Man podcast, where we let our curiosities and theories run wild and sometimes talk relevant news. I'm Josiah, and with me, my two friends and co-hosts, Ben and Mike. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing. I'm here. We're all which here. Which is more than can be together. said for some people week to week. <laughs> wow. That sounds not, like somebody else. I'm not, I'm not mentioning names. Yep. I'm not I'm not calling anybody out. I'm just nope. saying yep. sometimes some people aren't here and some people are. Sometimes some people aren't here. And sometimes no. some people are. You know, I've 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 been on a streak. I haven't missed a single week. Yeah, Josiah's gonna be like he's like the main character of the podcast. He hasn't missed a single episode of his own show. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I if if I'm the main character, then we need a villain. So I mean, I think you're you you can be the villain. You can be the villain. And the no, main we we know who the oh. villain is. Let's be honest here. It's yeah, you. it's yeah. you, Ben. We, you're we the all villain. know who the villain is here. <laughs> ben, you're the villain of this podcast. Ben's like a Loki villain or something like. Really yeah, low key villain. Why? He just like sleeps behind like look, a, look at the, look at that sly face. He sleeps behind like a Seven Eleven, and he's like committing all these mass atrocities and things and doing all these horrible things. But like, he's just a dude. He's like Sounds the he's, right. he's like a reverse Rorschach. He's always walking around with a sign that says like the end is nigh and stuff. And he's just a super villain. That's actually what I do every day. No, yeah. no, that's that's my that's how I make a living. I know you, Ben. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I mean, if you actually were, then you could probably you know afford your apartment, but. You know, okay. Well, 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 no. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Sorry, sword subject. I know. Sorry. Um, so I mean, I didn't say anything about that <laughs> at all. <laughs> hey, it's anyway, tough. It's, ben Ben's on a roll lately. He's been on a roll lately with with work and everything else. Ben so. is a, an animal. Mm-hmm. He is grinding. And I appreciate him, and he's here. Mm-hmm. You know what? I'm, I'm and you know what? more now than I have in my entire life. You know what Ben Dude, didn't that's know? that's awesome. You know what Ben didn't know? And it started today, in February when I wrote a novel, so. Yeah, today, ben, yeah, you got a novel yeah, going, ben, too? Ben wrote his first novel. He got all the way through it, wrote his first draft. Uh-huh. Listen, he's an animal. He's nonstop. He's not. Ben you know, is turning into a beast. A beast. <laughs> And listen, it's what Ben didn't know about today, this is a special episode. It's Ben Appreciation Day, and he didn't know. Oh. Yeah. We, we assembled clips of you, dropped the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> just a, just yeah. some really, like, cheesy music behind it and stuff. <laughs> and photos. Just really just give you an award, everything. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not Ben Appreciation Day. That's uh, hmm. a couple months here. Oh, yeah. 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 Ben yeah. Appreciation Month. That's right. No, never. Not a whole month. You sure? Listen, July July nineteenth is Ben Appreciation Day. So yeah. why, wait, what? Why July nineteenth specifically? What? What about? You know that? why? You know why? You freaking know why? So with that being said, <laughs> that's it for us, guys. No, yeah. We'll see you on July nineteenth. <laughs> um, We're taking a three we month get, hiatus. We have, <laughs> we have some spicy stuff to talk about today. Yeah, oh, um, do we? Is it it's actually something that we were going to talk about last week, but then we went on an entire yep. tangent about uh, superhero movies and the why, choo-choo train by Hollywood sucks yeah. and everything else. So the train derailed, yeah, yeah. But you know that's that's fun. That's fun sometimes to to derail the train. It's a good time. Yeah, I yeah. I enjoy doing it. So I like yep. derailing trains. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't sound <laughs> illegal at all. Yeah. yeah, probably not. Probably not. Wow. Maybe in Texas, but probably nowhere else so yeah um (laughs) so there's this uh new thing that i just found out about recently called island in the clouds okay Okay. tell us more ben what what do you think of when you're your island in the clouds uh i'm gonna be entirely honest i think i think of like um like a mixture between Olympus in Greek mythology and um, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. 
That's <laughs> the two things that come to my mind when I hear Island. So I just want to point out something. Ben didn't even know who Sisyphus was a couple weeks ago. And now he's trying to throw Greek mythology at people. <laughs> what I think of, man. Listen, but man, the also, inconsistencies here are... Yeah, also... Do you even know what Olympus is, Ben? Yes, I know what Olympus he's is. He's seen the animated version of Hercules. He knows. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know what <laughs> Greek history is, mythology is. So, Island in the Clouds, it's, uh, it's this thing called Mount... Roraima, Roraima, something like that. Pronounce that right. They think it's Roraima, Roraima. They think it. Wow, Ben, you're already throwing shade. Is Mount Roraima really Mm. a lost world where dinosaurs may still exist? Boom. So uh, deep within the rainforest of Venezuela, a series of plateaus sit more than nine thousand feet above sea level and rise up to 1,310 feet from the surrounding terrain like tabletops. From above, they look like islands in the sky. Boom. So I'm assuming, you know, if you're like taking a plane or whatever and you're flying through, doing your thing, you look down, you can see like these giant land masses, these flat land masses just rising from the clouds. Yeah. Um. The most famous of these is called Mount Roraima. Roraima. <laughs> Roraima. 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 Um, the Tapuis are so unique in their geography that thousands of plant species exist nowhere else on the planet except on these plateaus. Hmm. Wow. That's actually pretty insane. That's pretty wow. Cool. That yeah, actually like, really, really makes me want to go to one of these. Yeah. Like, Venezuela. really badly. Well, Venezuela, I mean, you, yeah. yeah, Venezuela. Ben, is that where you went? Uh, no, I went to Ecuador. However, in in Quito, Ecuador, we were higher than that above sea level. So, yeah, were you on an island in the clouds? Nah, I wish I was. That'd be way cooler. Because, like, you know, <laughs> yeah. Venezuela is like right by the right by the coast of the Caribbean Sea. But you weren't you weren't in the clouds. No, I wish I was. So you weren't in the clouds, Ben? No, I I literally just said. Well, I mean, kind of. Like we were, there were literally clouds like covering the mountains we were on. So yes. But were you like walking among clouds and stuff? Like the like, according to like, if you look at these pictures and stuff, it literally shows it like above the clouds. Like if you look down, it's just like clouds everywhere, clouds. and you're clouds just everywhere. standing above them. You're pretty freaking sick. No. Did you see any dinosaurs, Ben? I wish. No, I did not. Oh, interesting. So, so apparently there's some uh, theories and speculations out there that dinosaurs may possibly exist on top of these what? plateaus. Um, Read about the it. mystical mountains fascinated explorers and writers for centuries, most notably Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, who described an ascent of Mount Roraima in his Roraima. 1912 novel, The Lost World. In Doyle's novel, a group of explorers found that dinosaurs and other extinct creatures were still alive and well on the remote plateaus. Some people today still believe this to be a possibility. But, like, okay. Oh, but, but, oh here we go. Here. Okay, well, here, Ben, we didn't even get far enough into this yet for you to start throwing my... shade at the dinosaurs. But I forgot that you I hate love, dinosaurs. I love the dinosaurs, but... Um, but dude, whenever we bring up dinosaurs, you just sound so negative about them. So sure, well, triggered. Okay, okay, I'm pretty sure there has been expeditions to the top of these plateaus, and nobody's found any dinosaurs. Why don't you pull up somebody that went on an expedition in one of these, Ben? Then you can prove us all wrong. But until then, and you know what? People have expeditions in the ocean all the time, and they find new stuff all the time. So. All the time. Yeah, the ocean even... is a lot bigger than Mount Roraima. <laughs> Is it though? I, uh, yes. Are you sure about that, Ben? Have you yes. been there? It's it's in the clouds, Ben. You've only been to Ecuador, Ben. You know how you big clouds can world. be? Yeah. Clouds can be huge. Okay, you know what? It does sound pretty cool, though. Well, I'm glad you think so, Ben. Yeah. They have plant species up there that don't exist anywhere else on the planet. Yeah, they got rare orchids. Yeah. And carnivorous pitcher plants. I like how Ben will pull up like a Google article and then try to like school us on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He'd be yeah. like, 
<laughs> yeah, they have rare orchids <laughs> and all these other things that you probably didn't even know about, did you, Josiah? Even Freaking though you're idiots. the one that brought this this week. <laughs> <laughs> you rubes like how did you not know hey listen it's good stuff so when are we going to take an expedition to go to mount Roraima? i, no. I, I don't do want to do that at all I, uh, why not <laughs> um because it has it might have dinosaurs ben sounds good to me <laughs> i don't want to get killed by a dinosaur i'll take that i'll take that over a lot of things there could i mean there could still be dinosaurs up there you never know yeah, it's true. I mean, you know, you know, uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle wrote about it, and he had dinosaurs in his book and about Roraima. So, I mean, Roraima. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> can I read? This? If Doyle could do it, then then maybe there are dinosaurs up there. Well, okay. So in 1884, oh boy, here we go. Sir Everard M. Thurn and his expedition team had discovered a forested ramp. Hold on, why did you say expedition? <laughs> forget about it scaling the natural staircase and at the summit they found no pterodactyls or ape men instead they discovered a rocky landscape covered with scrubby vegetation interspersed by small patches of sandy marshland as well as many plants and animals unique to the plateau in fact around 35 percent of the dinosaurs are animals on, okay on mount roraima <laughs> are endemic such as the roraima bush toad and 70 percent oh. of those found in south america's tipuis exist only on these plateaus other species are likely are like living fossils almost identical to plants and animals that are now extinct in the rest of the world for millions of years life has been existing completely independently on these mishrata mountaintops away from the prying eyes of civilization so literally they just said that like a lot of this hasn't even been explored they're trying but well, there could be dinosaurs. back in the 1800s there could be dinosaurs so I, there probably weren't any expeditions between the 1800s and now so well yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, but apparently it, it rains almost every day on the plateau of Mount Roraima, creating a gushing water, creating gushing waterfalls. So that's pretty cool. Gushing water. Oh my waterfalls. Yeah, Ben, I'm looking at an article right now. They didn't even really like get inside the caves and it, they weren't even able to like really explore a lot of these places until like 2010s. So like, how do you get, get up the, on them? How, how do you get up on them? Do you, you take like a guided tour? There's a guided tour, but then there's, there's a also a way to get up there, like with mountain climbing gear and stuff. It's just super oh, hard. So you literally can just like hike up there. <laughs> I mean, they're like straight up cliff faces, so you probably have to do like some pretty extreme hiking. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> I wow. don't know if I could even make that. <laughs> Be like out of breath after ten feet. Because <laughs> you gotta remember the elevation too. You're just like, <sighs> yeah, yeah. But it looks beautiful, just like from the pictures from like down in the valley looking up at it it's really cool yeah it is yeah. yeah i mean it's nice it's nice of you to to get on board with that ben and how nice well it i mean is. i think it'd be cool to even just go to the base of it just look yeah. up it'd be nice to find some dinosaurs and stuff too it, it looks like the perfect uh place for dinosaurs to be because like i don't know it kind of reminds me of like something it's kind of like skull islandish sort of but yeah it looks like, like something that clouds. actually would be in like arc kind yeah. of yeah yeah. yeah, and I mean, Ark has dinosaurs in it, so. Well, yeah, I mean, it's about that. There you go. So we keep on making all these comparisons that show that dinosaurs yeah, could crazy. be there, and it's it's almost well, like maybe, dinosaurs maybe are real. They are. Maybe they aren't. <laughs> Who can be sure? People that I'll explore the islands. Apparently, there are crystals littering the ground too, which is really cool. Oh, although well, all the know. tapuis have been climbed, only a few have been extensively explored. Could this mean that supposedly extinct species, even dinosaurs, may still exist atop these remote plateaus? Look at that. It's like they knew somebody was going to be <laughs> reading this and going, eh, maybe, you know. Listen, Ben, you missed out on the perfect opportunity. How do you know that your Megatherium isn't living in one of these caves? Maybe yeah. it is. Maybe you abandoned him. No, you abandoned him. You said he wasn't there. I would never abandon him. You said that there was some freaking toad and some plants and okay, there was well, nothing Megatherium's else. Megatherium's not a dinosaur. Well, Megatherium is a stupid sloth that died, but he could be living in these caves. Wow. All right. You called him stupid is insulting to the poor Megatherium. Well, not if he's dead. doesn't know any better. <laughs> Someone left a review on Google that says, judging by the photos, this place attracts particularly annoying looking tourists. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Gave it one star. <laughs> He's like, did not go, would not go. <laughs> somebody, somebody has a touristic grudge. Let me tell you. Yeah. Um. 
yeah no i think that, i think it's really cool and um the first european who explored it apparently uh wrote of a crystal mountain and it was like covered with diamonds and waterfalls he said no sound they're follow i i can't even read this because it's like an old english so it's like i can't it's weird there falleth o'er it a mighty river which toucheth no part of the side of the mountain but falleth to the ground with a terrible noise and clamor as if 1000 great bells were knocked one against another but what it hath i know not neither durst he or any of his men ascend to the top of the said mountain those people ad- adjoining at I don't even know what the heck that word is supposed to be. <laughs> Being his enemies as they were, and the way to it is so to it so impossible. Hmm. <laughs> Frickles <Nice>. English. <laughs> Sorry, are you okay? There's a reason it doesn't that nobody uses it anymore. <laughs> like Can you, you were really talking like that anymore? Like, geez, cringe, cringe. Mike is speechless right now. You were really having a hard time with that, man. I felt bad. I was like, you got this, bro. I believe in you. And you were, uh, hey. I mean, old English. I I don't speak old English. Apparently not. I speak American. (laughs) Well, that's, yeah. I just was was wanting you to get there, and you did. You got there. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, Ben's just sitting there quiet and silent. And right, I'm stumbled, reading about, I'm reading I stumble a little bit. How, way, to hike, but... how to hike this place. Really? I think, I think it's interesting, though, um, the idea of the fact that there are still places on our planet that, like, we haven't really fully explored. Yeah. With all the technology that we have and all the ideas and all the things that we've done, you know, like, I mean, obviously the ocean is a pretty, it's an all right, least big place. I mean, it's not that big, you know, not as yeah. big as a mountain in the sky, but whatever. <laughs> Um, but like the fact that we haven't even explored our oceans fully and stuff is interesting because yeah, who knows? I think we're always, you know, I think we're always looking for like the bigger and the better and hoping that there's something out there that could like surprise us all. And, Mm -hmm. you know, obviously I doubt that there are actually any dinosaurs like in mass living on this Island, but you know, what if you find, you know, a well-preserved carcass somewhere or what if you find, you know, like evidence of something else you mm-hmm. know you just never know like what if this was what if these mountains and these plateaus and stuff what if at one point this was where the earth used to be it used to be that high you know yeah you know and then things have changed and things have gotten pushed down what so if did, yeah like did, hiking through the grand the grand sabana in venezuela it takes two to three days to summit mount Ruraima. that sounds fun Cool. And there is no on, apparently on the Guyana wow. and Brazil side, there is no trail that and only sheer cliffs that can be scaled, but uh, that can only be scaled by the most experienced climbers. Wow. I mean, if some European explorer from the 1500s could do it, then we probably could do it too. So. Well. Yeah, I mean, did you see those guys a, back then? Gotten a lot softer. <laughs> uh, those guys were weak and tiny, and they didn't know well, anything about working out or anything. They just well, walked around a lot. <laughs> But apparently, yeah, there's a bunch of different sites you can like. I didn't even have oxygen tanks back mm. then. Cringe. Well, you don't need an oxygen <laughs> tank to be 9,000 feet above sea level. It was talking about when you're climbing mountains and stuff, Ben, it helps to have oxygen. It does. But, yep. but whatever. You know, that's fine. You could just. Uh, have you guys ever could... climbed a mountain before? Like ever? <laughs> Hell no. How would I do that? <laughs> I don't know. That you sounds have? super cringy. What mountain? It wasn't was super climb? tall. It was like a um, just over a mile long. Oh. A mile high, so little baby mountain. Yeah, it was a baby. Well, no, I that's not true because we hiked in Colorado. Um, you went to the, you climbed a mountain in Colorado. Yeah, we were we were hiking all the time there. I was a kid, so I didn't really notice it too much because kids have like boundless energy and you know, <clears throat> stamina. Did you ever see um, a dinosaur up there? Nah, just mountain goats. <laughs> They're pretty sick though. <laughs> that was cool. Um, we didn't hike anywhere in Ecuador. We took like a, um, we were already up really high, and then we took like a trolley system, or not a trolley system, like a, what do you call it? Like those things that it's, what is it called? I can't remember. It was like a, something that, kind like, of, but it like carried us to the summit. Like a ski lift the, type thing, or yeah, kind of, but it was like enclosed, and okay. it like took us to the top of one of the mountains there. Hmm. 
that we were like 14,000 feet above sea level so you didn't really climb the mountain no we were just on top of it so no. technically i've only climbed like one or two mountains and they were all relatively small man his yeah. story is unraveling so <laughs> quickly <laughs> but uh i don't yeah, actually I just, think i could climb to the top of that thing i probably all i want to know <laughs> all i want to know is the truth ben have you or have you not climbed a mountain yes that's what i just said <laughs> well you said that you didn't really know at first now i'm confused no, i do know because it's considered an actual mountain it's just not it's a very a tall mountain, mountain. Yeah. Just a baby mountain. Gotcha. <laughs> Not like well, Roy Roy mountains, Roy 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 mountains than you climbed, Mike. How do you know I haven't climbed a mountain? Because you just said no. <laughs> I never <laughs> said no. Josiah, yes, you did. When Josiah nope. asked if you climbed a mountain, you said play no. Play the tape back. Play the play the tape back. <laughs> you actually did say no. <laughs> I know I did. I didn't climb a mountain. I don't know. Yeah, I climbed I know. a mountain. You know what's up on we're mountains? Gonna, we're gonna do it though. You know what's up on mountains? <laughs> Josiah's like, man, you guys are gonna get in shape for 60 days, and then we're gonna climb this. You know what's up on mountains? Well, not this right away. That will will be intense. There's no to. sloths. There's no dinosaurs or sloths it's up on like, the mountains. It's like a fight. It's like a you know you know one hundred or two hundred thousand subscriber video. We just like get in shape for like two months and then we just hike this mountain. Yeah. So like how Ben's like Ben would get in shape for two months and he's like frick this I'm done. Yeah, exactly. Was, <laughs> I climbed this stupid mountain. Time to go I would back. just go try to find some way to get me someone to get take me up there in a helicopter. I'd be like, hey, no. uh, I need a ride. Yeah, I mean, the, the question I have, so apparently there's, like, waterfalls on these things as well. Yeah, yeah, just, like, cascading off the side. So, where does the water come from? Like, is there, like, a lake up there? Is or? that a question? It's always raining, apparently. It's poo juice. Oh, okay, well, no, apparently, apparently it's yeah. always raining. No, the dinosaurs are peeing, and it's running off the sides. Yeah. <laughs> well. Dinosaurs make a lot of pee, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's no, what I read. Is that because it's always raining. Yeah, it's always raining. Always raining. Nice. That's so like the, always wet up there. You know, always wet. Wet. I mean, wet. super wet. Slick. Dripping. Dino dinosaurs like things moist. So yeah, yeah. It's, they're they're WAP mountains. That's the new name ben, for them. Ben, why do you hate dinosaurs? I love dinosaurs. Actually, I just I I can't play the tape back. Where I Ben said he hated dinosaurs. Myself, I can't ever <laughs> let myself. Back. I can't ever get let myself get my hopes up that there are still dinosaurs out there. But Ben, you literally like every week that you're here and have an opportunity to do it. Talk about this Megatherium thing. Oh, being I do that somewhere. because I know it bugs you. So I. Just... <laughs> oh, that's right. Now it's because of me that he does it. Oh, have you it heard is. of the? Uh, I think it's called what the uh, Mokella Membe or something yeah, like that. Yeah, in the in the um, Congo. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that's real? Mm. I mean, a bunch of natives claim that they see it all the time. Yeah. Well, not all the time, but they, they claim that they say it. I mean, a lot of people claim they see a lot of things. Apparently, also, our veterans claim that they saw rock games. And... <laughs> oh, the Macaulay. It's Macaulay yeah. Membe. Yeah. 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 That's it. Yeah. It yeah. Could be. Uh, and people know. also claim they see the Loch Ness Monster. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of locals in the area and stuff that they're like, yeah, I mean, I've seen it, you know? Yeah. For those yeah. that don't know, um, the Macaulay Membe is like a giant. They, they think of it like a giant, like, it's like a dinosaur, basically, but it's like a giant like a sea snake or like a yeah. yeah, some kind of thing like that. But yeah, it could. I mean, it could be like a like if it does exist, it could be like a um, a sarco, which is like a giant like crocodile. Uh, it also could be like a uh, like a titanobo or something. Hmm. Yeah. I thought that based on what like the natives have told them, they think it's more like a brontosaurus oh, plesios or something. A brontosaur, not like a pre plesiosaurus or something. Yeah, no, no. Hmm. I'm kind of reading yeah, I mean, about it. Could, a be, bit, it but... could even be like it could be like a smaller like a what's the one that's smaller than a saltosaurus? Yeah, something like that. It's like yeah. a little bit smaller because brontos are huge, <clears throat> or they were thought to be yeah. huge at least from their from their bones. So I don't know if that would be as easily hideable, but yeah, I don't know. So uh, Carl Hagenbeck is apparently someone who is a big game hunter who claimed to have seen one in 1909. He claimed to have heard from two, or sorry, he heard from other people. He claimed to have heard from two independent sources about a creature living in Rhodesia who was described to them by natives as half elephant and half dragon. Wow. So. Half elephant and half dragon. Hmm. Mm hmm. What kind of dragon, though? Are we talking Eastern dragon or Western dragon? Oh, this mother effer right here. <laughs> An African or European swallow? The cool dragons, Ben. I think they're all pretty cool, but okay. Cringe. <laughs> um, 
all dragons so, matter, Josiah. They do. All dragons. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, so I don't know. There's uh, other claims and stuff as well. Let's see. Another report comes from German Captain Ludwig Ferrer von Stein du Lasnitz, as <laughs> described by Will Lay in Exotic <sighs> Zoology. Von Stein was ordered to conduct von a survey Stein. of German colonies in what is now Cameroon in 1913. He heard stories of an enormous reptile called Mokela Membe. Macole. Macole. Macole Membe. Alleged to live in the jungles and included a description in his official report. The animal is said to be of a brownish gray color with smooth skin. Its size is approximately that of an elephant or at least that of a hippopotamus. It is said to have a very long and very flexible neck and only one tooth but a very long one. Some say it is a horn. If you spoke about a long muscular tail like that of an alligator, uh, canoes coming near it are said to be doomed. The animal is said to attack the vessels at, at once and to kill the crews, but without eating the bodies. The creature is said to live in the caves and have been washed out by the river and in, in the clay of its shores at sharp bends. Um, so, yeah. So, that's... Mm. Wow. Have we, hey. have we, have there anybody, been any descriptions like after the 1900s though? Um, not necessarily. Uh, let's see. I mean, it could have died. Yeah. Maybe For it died. Real. Maybe, maybe it just, uh, maybe it was one of the last ones and it just, maybe it was just like, you know out. what? I'm going to yeet myself right out of this planet. Just, just yoink and go join, join my ancestors <laughs> in the stars. <laughs> I'm just going <laughs> to. <laughs> um yeah there's not really anything maybe from... it died in a mud hole like the megatherium <laughs> yeah he's like oh frick this this mud man Fringe. well you know so there was something i thought was really interesting that i saw the other day kind of deviating a little bit but talking about dinosaurs where um you know there's like been a lot of evidence over the years like when scientists have found a new species of something and they find like the skeleton and they go hey we think this thing may have looked like this yeah you know mm-hmm. and then we like they put the skin on it and it looks like a thing and everybody's like wow and then like they actually find the thing and like nobody it doesn't look anything like they thought it did you know mm-hmm. or like the the, the duck billed platypus they all thought it was fake they thought it was a hoax sometimes yep. i wonder what if dinosaurs don't look anything like we think they, they look like beyond just even like what we see in jurassic park because we know that's fake but even like the pictures that we see of dinosaurs now you know you have you ever seen the uh it's not an um it's not an ankylosaurus but it's something similar yeah i saw that the 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 yeah the dinosaur like the the body i was like that is literally like how people picture dinosaurs which one the one from uh canada i can't remember it was like preserved dinosaur skin yeah it's like an insanely well-preserved dinosaur was it like an Anki? Yeah. yeah. Did, you just did, it have an like, did it have like plates and stuff? Did you call it an Anki? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I, I use a lot of abbreviated <laughs> names for a lot of that. Um, so it had like plates and stuff, like plated on. Yeah, you can see like it spikes and everything. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. But like, yeah. here's a crazy thing. What if that was a dragon? Well, yeah. What if that was an actual I mean, dragon? Dinosaurs. But all these other are... things. Dinosaurs what? probably are dragons. I, I, what if these I other things weren't? Believe, I actually believe that that's where the uh, myths whole and idea legends of come from. Dragons came from is from dinosaurs. Yeah, hmm. that's yeah. what I think too, honestly, because I feel like that makes the most sense mm-hmm. to me. Yep. Because like hmm. realistically, we know that dragons or dinosaurs did exist mm-hmm. in some capacity, right? So I feel like that would make mm-hmm. the most sense that legends and and fairy tales and stuff come from dinosaurs. I mean, no. dinosaurs could just also not be real at all. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely no scientific evidence that they exist <laughs> by any means at all. None. Not Nothing's ever thing. been found. Not a, nothing. It's all in our heads. All absolutely. Of it. Yep. It was all. It's all. Actually, honestly, we're all part of a simulation. Elon Musk was right. What if a lot of these? What if? What if a lot of these dinosaurs? What if a lot of these things that we think are dinosaurs are like just giant versions of species we already have living on Earth now? 
Now, the bone structure wouldn't lead us to believe that. I mean, they have, like, completely assembled skeletons. and Yeah, which which clearly do look a certain way. <laughs> According to them. I, well, the reason, they, <laughs> the reason they've shown them looking that way in, like, media and stuff is because they have assembled skeletons. Yeah, how do you know that they're assembling them correctly? What I if mean, some of these spine bones are giant penises? Listen. What if they are? <laughs> What if Listen, a walrus has an <laughs> a, has an actual bone for a penis, and it is like one of the longest yes. penises in the animal kingdom. It's huge, seriously, like, massive. Yeah, I and it's a real, this. and it's an actual bone. So Wait, imagine, what? so didn't, he has like a literal boner then. Yeah, like a legit. Like you didn't know this about walrus penises? <laughs> yeah, walrus. I gotta look up walrus dude. penises now. Wow. Well, don't do that because you're gonna get pictures of an actual walrus penis. And... <laughs> Maybe he wants to see. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. I'm looking Dude, at it. like it's literally like a bone. What the? It's frick? like a straight up actual bone, like no joke. But Man. like my thing is this: what if you found like a dead walrus, and all that fat fell off of its body and everything, and you find this giant bone, and they're like, I think it goes like right over here, and they stick it on its head. And so this whole time we've been thinking Triceratops is a real thing. The whole time it's been a walrus penis. Wow. All right. You I know mean, what? The walrus penis looks pretty uh, pretty different unique, to be honest. Yeah. Well, we don't special. We we don't know what the ancient walrus penises look like. Four point five foot penis. Yeah. That's a huge penis. Yep. Yeah. I'm just saying though, like, you know, how do we know? Well Well, I mean it's pretty different, but but okay. (laughs) I'm just listen, I just I tried to be like Ben. I tried to I tried to to question the ways. It doesn't work when you try <laughs> well, to Well, I mean it did. It, you just well, immediately, you know, dog piled on me. What, well, I'm kind of just things. I'm kind of fascinated by this walrus penis. Josiah's like getting really we into this. Found he's found like Josiah's newest obsession. He's like, man, I gotta get a hold of one of these. You know, like people like, actually like make like flutes and stuff. And flutes out of them. Yeah. <laughs> like what the frick? <laughs> just, <laughs> just blowing up my penis. <laughs> yep. Got my walrus penis flutes. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah. That's Could you hilarious. imagine if somebody fashioned it as a weapon and the last thing you see is like a giant walrus penis just clubbing across your face? You got killed by a penis. Yep. <laughs> oh no. How do you feel now? <laughs> yeah. Be like, is that a walrus penis? He's like, Yeah, I'm gonna kill you with it. And you're like, Don't do that, man. Not the penis. <laughs> anything, anything but <laughs> yeah, anything but the penis. <laughs> well, we really no, uh, uh, derailed that one. Well, you know, I I like derailing stuff. It's fun. Yeah. It's a good time. I listen, I, I I'm I'm honestly just joking. I love the the preserved dinosaur skin and a lot of the skeletons and stuff like that. But sometimes I do wonder if what if like dinosaurs like what if they're as varied as you know all of the species we have on Earth now, you know? Yeah. I mean uh, you know, I, I think that despite yeah, all sure the they are all of the stuff that we've learned about dinosaurs so far, I'm sure we're still pretty far off from what dinosaurs were actually like and stuff, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, every, pretty much everything we see, it always portrays like long neck type dinosaurs and things like that is like very docile. And, you know, these natives are talking about things that are like long neck type dinosaurs that like attack their boats and stuff. And mm-hmm. even like, you know, the, the Bible talk about like the behemoth and stuff like that. Like, you know, it doesn't really picture a paint a picture of it being like a super docile, nice creature or anything. Yeah. Like what if the long necks are just as ferocious as the, the meteor ones are and stuff. So, yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, look at like some of the animals that we have, like you wouldn't want to get up close and, you know, pet a, like a bull elephant or something like that. You get freaking yoinked by that. I mean, thing. I'd rather Boink. pet an elephant than swim with sharks. Mm. You know, oh, <laughs> I take that personally for the sharks. For sharks. Why? Sharks don't want to be petted. No, why would you pet a shark? That'd be stupid. Listen, a lot of people do a lot of stupid things. I've seen lots like, of videos of people petting sharks. Doesn't mean it's not stupid. I mean, they didn't get hurt. I mean, swimming with them is arguably just as dangerous. If you're swimming with them, you might as well just pet them, too. Well, you're not. See, this is what I'm saying, right, man. Okay. You guys, you you you're you guys take an inch. Supposed to touch the nature. You guys get an inch, and you guys take a mile. It's it's one moment. It's swimming with sharks in a cage. The next is swimming out in the open ocean and trying to pet these things. 
There's just, where's the line? There's never a line. There's not a line, Mike. The next thing we're going to do is ask you to put your hand in a shark's mouth. I won't do that. I, I, just, I, wanna, I just want to snuggle with a shark. That's all I that's want. What, see, there we go. That's the <laughs> no, that's not content. It's called <laughs> having a death fish. No, I mean, I, I have actually seen videos of people like swimming with sharks and then they kind of like run their hands over it or whatever and stuff. Yeah. So people do it. Yeah, people have done it for sure. It's a terrible yeah. idea. I, I I'm not gonna ask that out of you, Mike. That'd I'd be... love I'd love to swim in dolphins. That'd be awesome. Well, dolphins will. I know they're dolphins will literally rape you. No, they don't <laughs> rape people. They rape other dolphins. Doesn't Dan. make well, it any They're xenophobic make... and they're more intelligent than you or I. They're they obviously smart. can tell. They can tell the difference between a person and another dolphin. I saw a video of a woman getting raped by a dolphin once. That was not a real thing. <laughs> It was dolphins like a, it's like at one of the zoos or whatever. She was like one of the trainees or whatever. Dolphins are literally dolphin just super hopped horny. right up, right up there. <laughs> you guys are out of control. I think you underestimate just how smart dolphins are. I think you underestimate how rapey dolphins are. Like no, I don't. I don't overestimate that. how rapey dolphins are. Smart like, people man. can be rapey, Ben. What? He's just like, Smart man, these dolphins, can't be rapey. These, dolphins said. these dolphins want to rape people. I'm like, dude, no, that's not a thing. I love dolphins, but they're yeah. still pretty rapey. No. <laughs> just because wow. you haven't been raped by a dolphin, Mike, doesn't mean that they don't <laughs> rape. <laughs> Mike, you can't speak for other people's experiences here. I'm just saying. I am reading about it. Apparently, there's a dolphin that was in 2002 yeah. over in England. Um, the lady would say that he gets very sexually aggressive. Yeah, he tried to mate with multiple divers. Yeah, yes, it's it's yeah. it's literally fact. All the dolphins need to be put in horny jail. Let's just although this lady honest. right here, Margaret Howe, she claimed to have let the dolphin rub himself on her legs and hands while doing research on him. Oof, it was sexual on his part, not on sexual on mine. Sensuous, perhaps. What this lady what? was doing it with a dolphin. <laughs> Margaret Howe was dinky with the anything. dolphins. <laughs> she was Dude, like, seriously? listen, I let him rub off on me a couple times. There's, it was there's maybe like there was science. Some... <laughs> Sorry, there are like that's anything the thing, for the science. Like, do yeah, dolphins are super. What's the cute. thing though, Ben? Dolphins that's not are... a nope. Okay, no, no, listen. Dolphins are super cute, but a lot of people don't realize just how freaking horny and rapey dolphins are. It's weird, man. I mean, they're supposed to be more intelligent than us. Maybe yeah, that's they're, they're maybe that's what happens too, they're when way you ascend to. <laughs> when you ascend to a level of intelligence, you just get super horny. Hey, I mean, that should be the a smarter you are. Right? Like smart animals yeah. are into people or whatever. I don't know. The smarter you are, the more the more horny you get. I guess. <laughs> yeah, no, I and guess I, so. I, I I guarantee you, every single one of those dolphins, they know exactly what they're doing. Oh, well, I don't think so. They probably don't have any concept of rape or like consent. Yeah, I mean, probably not. Because we're that actually civilized. They're, they're still animals. Like they're yeah yeah, but they're just doing their thing. You know, well, I would rather pet a dolphin anyways because they, like, are better than sharks. You know, like... Okay, all right. Like, literally, that's like, just, groups of dolphins will just kill sharks. Blasphemous. You know how they kill sharks? They just poke them with their nose. Like, hey, bitch. <laughs> Bam. 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 And the shark's like, what the hell? And then it's just a bunch of dolphins. And it's not <laughs> even... <laughs> not biting them. Nothing. They just poke them to death. They just beat them to death with their nose. Could you imagine how cringe that would be? Just like you're hanging out, and some dude just comes and walks up to you, just like bops you with his nose. Not even his forehead, nothing else. Just his nose is like poke, and you're like, what the hell? Now just imagine an entire gang of guys. Yeah, a whole gang of guys just shows up. And it, or not even their nose, their fingers. And they just walk up to you, and they're like... <laughs> Until you yeah. die. <laughs> oh, oh. And then it, not only that, but it's underwater. You probably would just give up at that point. You probably just get poked so many times. You're like, I give up. And That's what die. the sharks do. The dark and sharks are like, I can't do this anymore. And then they just die. That's why dolphins are better than sharks. Well, yeah. well, why don't we do both? We can swim with our dolphins and sharks. I'll swim with both of them. Ben wants both. to swim with dolphins. The dolphins he was really excited after you after that. me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we should let them do that. <laughs> Ben would might be in danger. Dude, dolphins, dolphins. And dolphins are like <laughs> dolphins are like huge and they're like eight, nine feet long. <laughs> Ben's big. like swimming underwater. He's just like <laughs> dolphins are like, that's the guy. Right right up there. There. That looks like a perfect target. <laughs> yeah. Look how soft he is. He wants it. He... Supple. Because we know what we're doing. <laughs> wow. This really Double got off dolphin. the rails. I did not expect to go here with this. 
We're trying to talk about a, a, a awesome island in the sky with dinosaurs. Educating people about dolphins from our very listen, yeah. Knowledge. I think we should do a whole podcast on some of these animals that people think are cute and cuddly that are not, like koala bears. Apparently, those things are super mean. They're jerks. Yeah. yeah, they're like they're like the dumbest. An- they're like literally one of the dumbest animals in the animal kingdom. They have like the smallest brain, they're and so like cute, though. they're so dumb that like if you take their le- like a eucalyptus leaf and you put it on a table, it can't get it off the table. It doesn't understand how really? to like grab it. Yeah, it'll just die. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily talk about trust my animals. Koalas, koalas do kind of look like assholes, though. See, what we, what we actually need to do is we need to get to a bigger, a big enough point where we can get Forrest Galante on here and we can ask him all of our crazy wildlife questions. No, <laughs> listen, on, Ben. Yeah. Do it. I want no, to. I got to find this real quick because, like, some of these, I'm not even joking. Like, koalas apparently are really dumb. And that's another thing, too. They won't eat other things. They eat eucalyptus, but their body can't even digest it correctly. That's why they, they just, for, that's why they sleep, like, I think it's 23 yeah, hours. Or it's a poisonous hours. plant. They just eat it and they just keep shoving it down their gullet and, and then, then they, they pass sleep. out because they can't handle it. Their body's like, just put them in a coma, man. Like, keep eating this. <laughs> like, they what can't hard, they can barely digest the thing. And yeah, then. Wow. Yeah, I think it's 22 it's, hours that they sleep. I want to find out now. That's crazy. Yeah. So they're even let's like see. sloths, because sloths sleep a lot too, right? Koalas at the times, even at the 22 hours, Jeez. at the time of approaching bushfires, koalas have been found sitting at the bottom of trees. Um, <laughs> if the koalas are given the eucalyptus leaves plucked from the trees, they may not eat them because they're on, they only are used to eating off the trees themselves. So that's why everyone was so like worked up about trying to save the koalas with the Australia fires, because yeah, they're like because they're stupid, can't save themselves. So we yeah. literally someone's got to gotta save them, or they're gonna die. <laughs> Poor babies are just like stuck. koalas <laughs> possess one of the smallest brains in proportion to their body mass of all the mammals within the animal kingdom. How big is their brain? Really small. Stegosaurus had like a brain the size of the walnut or something, right? And then because they eat the eucalyptus like that, leaves, yeah. they offer like almost no energy. So like. Even yeah, they don't have any energy. They even they're as small as their brain is. Like our brain runs on like sugar and stuff. So like, yeah. they don't even get the sugar that they need to make their brains run correctly. <laughs> they're just dumb. <laughs> like koalas are so dumb, and then they're apparently <laughs> extremely ornery and mean. Like if they get like, I mean, caught... I would be mean too if all I ate was a drug leaf. That <laughs> but that's the thing; they won't the eat anything <laughs> else, and it's the worst. They're like, yeah, they like pick it off and try to hand it to the koala. Koala's like, I don't know what that is, man. But then he'll go up in a tree and he'll try to eat it. Or there's like, man, that fire's getting kind of hot. I probably should like <laughs> hide. And they just will sit there and die in the fire. <laughs> I'm kind of like, dude, <laughs> I'm just so sleepy, man. Yeah, bro. I just keep eating poison. <laughs> like, there's like almost no other creatures that eat eucalyptus leaves. It's like one of the only things because they're poisonous. I mean, that's what like... koalas are known for is eating eucalyptus yeah. leaves, though. Because that's all they do. They eat for three hours and then they sleep the rest of their day. <laughs> Like man, man, I feel like shit. That's what I'm saying. I'm not even. Again. I'm not even kidding, dude. Koalas are stupid <laughs> as heck. Dude. Apparently, wow. Yeah. Koala, koalas are amazing. Koalas are literally goaded because of these things. Yeah, I don't know. I, I've never really been a big fan of koalas. Really, like they're just kind of there. Yeah, they're there. Yeah. I think next week, honestly, I, I I think next week we should do a list: the dumbest animals in the world, and we should talk about them. <laughs> Because I'm looking at this list of some of the dumbest animals in the world, and I, I am just, all, about, all about it. Yeah, I just I'd be down. To Google search why are koalas, and the first one that came up are why are koalas and why are koalas endangered, and then why are koalas not bears, and then the third on the list was why are koalas so stupid? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. <laughs> dude, oh, apparently, man. this and this is another thing. This this is a little teaser for next week. Because I love this. Apparently, goblin sharks are so dumb goblin and like so creepy looking. Too. They're so dumb and they're so lazy that they don't hunt for food. They just don't want to. They just like find it somewhere and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds wow. like a goblin to me. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. Well, yeah. there we go. We'll we'll, uh, we'll have that for for next week and here, stuff. Here, yeah. here's here's exactly. All right, this is what I wanted to read to you guys. So this is why koalas are important to the ecosystem. So as the koalas feed, they break branches and drop leaves, making them available to ground insects. Koalas are also an important part of the food chain as they serve as prey for large carnivores in the ecosystem. 
Yep. Because they're so dumb. They're just like, bro, I fell off this tree. I don't know what to do, man. Koalas are literally important because they're food for other important animals. (laughs) Protecting koalas is equivalent to conserving the forests inhabited by them because that act as a carbon sink. So basically, they're just, they're important to be there. Gotta save the food of the other animals. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you gotta, well, because a lot of these bigger carnivores do a lot for the ecosystem. And so if they didn't have koalas as like a food source, then. The thing is, koalas are from Australia, right? Yeah, it's in the Australian bush. So Mm -hmm. what are eating koalas? I believe Um, Australia has like monitor lizards and stuff like that. Yeah, they've got quite a few larger like uh, like predators. Like what? They've also got got, like dogs. Like they have like dingoes. Yeah. But what else do Um, they have that's like a a giant uh, like carnivore or something? Oh, uh, ow- owls and uh, dingoes are a huge yep, one. Dingoes, owls, wedge-tails, eagles, and pythons. What? Okay, so I just looked this up. You guys want to hear something even better about uh, about koalas? Sure. Apparently, chlamydia is widespread in koala populations <laughs> and causes blindness, infertility, and sometimes death. Wow. Wow. So koalas only, are messed up. They... So not only are koalas stupid and like have the smallest <laughs> they're brain, they're diseased with chlamydia. <laughs> they spread sexually transmitted diseases to each other and like go blind with them. Like, bro, I would hate to be a koala. Like it quickly, like that, it's becoming the worst animal to ever be in the world. <laughs> like everybody's like, oh, he's so cute. Uh, and he's like, I have chlamydia and I haven't eaten because all my leaves fall off my tree. <laughs> If I remember correctly, too, are mating. Amazing. sometimes, well, they, they are mating, apparently, because they all have <laughs> chlamydia. Like, apparently, sometimes koalas, too, with, like, their teeth, their teeth will just start to grow, and instead of trying to file them down, they just let them keep growing, and then they just die because they can't eat anymore. Wow. Yeah. See, see, and Josiah, all these facts have just made koalas your favorite animal. <laughs> Not at all, but <laughs> the opposite. In fact. Amazing. I just have oh, pity for them no. now. You just like so when good. you see koalas now, you're just like, oh, he's gonna die, <laughs> dude. They you live horrible, like, wretched they, creature. They live like up to 18 years. No, apparently, some of them. You know. Imagine that. Be imagine your existence <laughs> just being <laughs> sitting in a tree, eating leaves and spreading sexually transmitted diseases yeah. for 18 years. Eating poison leaves. Which aren't enough to sustain your life, like to sustain your brain function. Just I'd be freaking grumpy too if I had a life yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, Yikes. People wonder man. why they're mean. There's an absolutely <laughs> reason. Now listen, it just like I have nothing oh. against Australia because Australia is beautiful, yeah. but I like I less and less want to go there as a destination. See, I more and more want to go there. I'm just like, man, like you know, dingoes eating babies and koalas are stupid, and then like they have poisonous things. Ta- everything's poisonous, and then not only that, but then they have like spider rain. I'm like, ew, yeah, spider rain. No, I could no. no, and they're not even like they're not even like the worst part is they're like poison spiders. Yeah. They're like. Oh, got to check my shoes and my clothes so a poison spider doesn't bite me and kill me in my sleep. No. no I can't. No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I will do pretty much anything but spiders. Listen, I'll jack, I'll spiders jam my arm right down the gullet of a shark and now yep. poke him to death. Yep. Or somebody's like, hey, man, that tree's full of spiders. Go climb it. I'll be like, nah, yeah, son. No. 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 Spiders is the line that I won't cross. No. Well, there we go. We all, we all have our. I'm our not even line, scared then, of spiders. I just know I poison I spiders terrified. are like the worst. I'm freaking. I am terrified, terrified of spiders, of spiders mm-hmm. especially tiny ones that are super deadly. <laughs> yeah. Like that's a, like imagine imagine being taken out by a tiny little spider. Just, yeah. Like just kills you dead. You're yeah. like, oh no. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Well, that's gonna be it for this week. Uh, we <laughs> what a mess! What a mess! I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> this has been one of my favorite episodes. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I'm so sorry to everybody for what just happened. We just got to talk about you know koalas and dolphins being rapey and yeah, walrus other penises. Yeah, it walrus lot. penises, <laughs> and then a mountain in the sky. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Just sitting right in the middle of everything. Hey, cool. we should do some weekly recommends. We should. We should. Go All ahead, right, ben. Well, ben first. Um, Resident Evil Village. If you have not played it and you have played any of the Resident Evil games, even if you haven't, honestly, check it out. It's definitely worth it. I actually said that last week, Ben, so. You didn't say that. 
I don't think. Ben, listen to the podcast. Yay! <laughs> Got him. Anyways, I just wanted to make sure he'd actually listen last week. Um, yeah. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, I've heard great things about Resident Evil 8. It's um, I'm going to recommend Hood, Outlaws and Legends. Have you played it? No, but I want to. <laughs> cringe. It's not cringe. I want to play it, so I'm well, recommending go. it. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, whatever, man. Yeah. I'm going to recommend shark swimming. <laughs> no, don't do that. Like, don't don't I've listen never, to just I've never done it, but <laughs> yeah. in school. Yeah. Actually, no, there's a movie, and, and I do have a, a quick movie. I just went and rewatched this the other night with my wife, and I love this movie so much. It's called Rocket Man. It's from mm-hmm. 1997. It's with, um, oh, Andy, whatever his name is. Anyways, this movie is one of the funniest movies i have ever seen in my life don't get distracted with the rocket man that they did about freaking the rocket um, man or rocketeer no no rocket man rocketeer is amazing too so i recommend the rocketeer as well harlan williams 1997 rocket man it is one of the funniest movies ever Mm. of all time and it's about going to mars so this movie was like super ahead of its time um this was before like a lot of people were talking about mars like they are now so it's pretty legit okay Cool. Too, legit. Nice. Too legit. Too legit to, to quit. quit. Yep. Quit. But um, also go see The Rocketeer as well because that movie is fire. Yeah, Rocketeer is great. Yeah. I love that movie. Yeah. Um, I'm going to recommend Shadow and Bone from Netflix. Ugh. Uh, That's right. I've been watching it and uh, I thoroughly show. enjoy it. So, uh, go out and watch another young adult <laughs> adapted it's novel. Good, it's good stuff. It it's, really is. It's well, pretty good. I recommended good. it last week. Oof. Oh, did yeah, you did recommend that last week. Yeah, yeah. Well, there we go. But you're a new person recommending it, so yeah, they, they got yeah. two against one. Boom. <laughs> Mike will be recommending it by next week. <laughs> if I watch it next week, well, maybe I'll watch that instead of watching Last Kingdom. No, don't do that. It's too late now. No, no, don't Whoa. do that. Don't do that. Yikes. Gotta hey, go, to be, man. To be, <laughs> fair, to be fair, Josiah has been telling you to watch Last Kingdom for a long time, so you probably should watch that first. I don't know, but you guys are telling me how amazing the Shadow and no, Bone is. No, it doesn't even come close to Last Kingdom. Josiah, Josiah literally, like, loves The Last Kingdom. Ben, like, have you watched The Last Kingdom? Is that the one about... Um, he hasn't watched The Last Kingdom. No, I watched the first You watched, like, a couple episodes or something. Yeah, it's... Uh, he just gave up on it. Well, no, yeah. I just I just hadn't finished it. Cringe. <laughs> Finish Shadow and Bone though. Yikes! Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm always gonna go for fantasy more than I am for anything else. So. I'm gonna watch fantasy instead of your crappy show. No, I didn't say. I literally nobody wants to watch your no stupid one wants to show. Watch history. Cringe. I Yikes! Literally, I literally enjoyed what I saw of it. I just haven't finished it. So wasn't better than Shadow and Bone apparently. The first couple of episodes of Last Kingdom are a little bit slow to get into. Yeah, they but are, after that, then it's just like amazing. I think it made it to it. episode five Showing. or six. I think. So. Well, that first gotta, episode gotta get back into one. that. <laughs> yeah. So. So uh, yeah, with that being said, we hope you guys uh, enjoyed this week's episode. Uh, make sure that you leave a review if you're listening to us on a podcast platform yes, or review uh, us. leave a, a comment and a like if you're watching we love your YouTube. Comments. We appreciate all of that. Thank you so much, everyone. And we will talk to you all next week. Bye. Bye.